Hello guys and welcome back into another very very important video. Now in this video I want to talk about gold and I want to go over the technical analysis which is setting up very very nicely on the monthly. I also want to go over the flow so you know how many people are buying in calls and it is looking extremely extremely bullish the past weeks. I also want to go over you know gold versus inflation and how it is used against as a uh, inflation hedge. Then I also want to go over gold so GLD that versus gold uh, which is barracked gold and what really is the difference between them. Now you know, let's get into this video. If you guys do enjoy content like this, make sure to um, subscribe um, to the channel. If you guys do want to support me, since it takes a lot of time and effort to make these videos, you guys can join this membership and get some cool emojis. Now, let's get into GLD. Now, what even is GLD? So this is very, very important to understand the difference, okay? Now, GLD tracks the gold spot price. So less expenses and liabilities since it doesn't actually mine that gold. Using gold bars held in London vaults. Now, this is very, very important, okay? This is very, very important to understand because, you know, it's... It's just a derivative where it just tracks the gold price. You know, it's not a company that mines gold, which is gold. Um, and this is very, very important to understand because we're looking at GLD. It looks very, very bullish. And then we're looking at GOLD, uh, which is the Barrick Gold uh, Corporation. And since they, again, they mine gold so it's very very different because again you gotta need those machines and those expenses and those liabilities so it is very very important to understand that we're looking at gld which just tracks the price and um gold on trading view this is the actual gold so um as of right now gold is going for 1800 Per ounce. So this is very, very important to understand. So let's take a look at GLD and I want to start off on the daily time frame. Looking at the daily time frame, we have a very, very nice symmetrical triangle. So our stop loss is going to be below that support. We have a very, very nice support coming in for gold. Now, even taking a look to the upside, we have a very, very nice gap up as a price target so the daily looks very very nice and we're actually about to break that symmetrical triangle hopefully by next week now you know let's scroll up a little bit we have a very very nice perspective looking at gold now daily looks good but i really want to take a look at the weekly because weekly is where it gets very very interesting we still have that gap to fill as price target and you know if we're taking a look at the weekly we have to grab amount out expirations so it is a, it is a very very you know in, in a different time frame and it, it's in a bigger time frame which means it's a more confident play and the bigger the time frame the more confident and the more bigger the play is now this is where things get even more interesting which is the monthly time frame we have a cup and handle forming since 2011 2011 was the aftermath of the 08 crash and i want to really put that in perspective because this is where we understand gold versus inflation okay gold versus inflation what we have over here is once you know we had a lot of money um, starting to print the government starts to print a lot of money Gold really likes to go up because, again, if more money is being printed, uh, the value of your dollar will depreciate. So it is very, very important to understand that gold ups, gold goes up during inflation. And since there's a lot of inf inf inflation right now and we have a lot of money um, getting printed right now. So looking at the monthly, this cup and handle is incredible. I've never seen, you know, this a big of a cup and handle. I mean, we're taking a look at the monthly. It's been forming since 2011. And it's very, very important to really understand what we're looking at. And then I want to go over the flow. Now, what Unusual Whales does is basically, 
you guys can look at the flow. The flow is where you guys can check um, how many people or what you know people are putting their money in. And overall, what we can see is what institutions, banks, and hedge fund hedge funds are buying into. So taking a look, you know, I'm um, put a premium, you know, around ten thousand dollars. So around ten thousand dollars, and I did only ask and out of the money. And we're taking a look at the unusual whales. Just looking at the first contract, someone put over a million dollars into gold, one hundred and seventy-one strike price. So out of the money and we have around a month out expiration now this is very important to understand because 171 strike is our gap fill so whoever put in a million dollars on gold call calls they're expecting it to fill that gap by january and 21st so that is very very important to understand and that is why i really really want to take a look at the flow for gold because the flow is extremely extremely bullish you know i, I can scroll down um all the way basically this whole month we had incredibly bullish floor uh bullish flow um on gold so overall Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Very, very simple to understand and definitely a lot to take in with, you know, the extremely high time frames and overall looking good on every single time frame. So overall, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be going out to Florida tomorrow. So I will try my best to record um, in the beaches. OK, so if this video, if we can get at least 20 likes, I will be trying to make you know i'll be trying my best to record the videos um next week because most likely i'll be taking next week off so overall hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys tomorrow um at sunday saturday